New Zealand's Prime Minister John Key, or, I'm sorry, John Key, has apologized to Kim.com, and the reason why he did that is because it turns out that New Zealand was illegally spying on him. New Zealand has a policy uh, of not spying on their citizens. It's very different from the United States. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Can you imagine a president of the United States apologizing to anybody? Mm -hmm. The Republicans would rip his head off. They'd be like, you apologize to this crap? How could you? You've destroyed America. God, wouldn't it be lovely in a, to live in a country where if someone's wrong, they admit it? And that they don't spy on their citizens? Wow, that's trippy. I just read a report, I read it on uh, RT, that in the United States, we have spied we have started spying on more Americans in the last two years than we did in the last decade before that. Yeah. So we're spying more on more and more Americans. And look, every time we do these stories, I get the sense that people are getting tired of it. It's like, yeah, of course they're spying on us. What? It's no, just, but the it's thing business is business as usual. No, but that's our circle of people, the people that, that watch the show that, that are or progressives or, that, or, or libertarians and they know it, et cetera, et cetera. But the great majority of the American people, if they thought they were actually being spied on, it would flip out. I get the sense that people have bought into the hype, Jenk. I think that they truly believe that this is being done in the name of national security. No, 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 they no, no. They do, no. they of do. Of course they do, of course they do. But they think it's being done to Ahmed Ahmed Mohammed Mahdullah, okay? Mm -hmm. How's that for a weird made up Muslim name? All right, but if they say to John Smith in Iowa, oh, by the way, I'm also watching uh, what porn sites you go on. He'd be like, what? Constitution, how dare you, right? So now in this case, they did spy on him anyway, but at least they admitted it and, and they apologized they for it. They did apologize for it. Whereas in our country, we now have warrantless wiretapping, so we can spy on anybody we like without any court order, and if you find out, they go, what now? What's incredible is the story that you and John uh, reported on yesterday about how these uh, rent-to-buy laptops and software can literally spy on you in the safety of your own home, and the Federal Trade Commission doesn't have the power to press criminal charges against them. Yeah, and now that's a private company spying in on you, which doesn't make it any better. Right. And if they can do it, you think the government can't do it? Exactly. And they've already passed laws saying, we can do warrantless wiretapping. We can do any damn thing we like, basically, in terms of spying in on you. So Kim.com, if he lived here, he wouldn't get an apology. He'd get a one-way trip to Guantanamo. Now, uh, Prime Minister John Key said the following, I apologize to Mr. Dotcom. I apologize to New Zealanders because every New Zealander is entitled to be protected from the law when it comes to GCSB, the Government Communication Security Bureau, and we fail to provide that appropriate protection for him. Just incredible. You're totally right. I can't imagine Inconceivable. any president in this country. If, if a president <laughs> did that, uh, he'd be impeached mm -hmm. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, how dare you? Of course, your citizens are supposed to be trampled upon. That takes strength! Apologizing is weakness. Right. Now, if you're a foreigner in New Zealand, then they can spy on you as much as they want. Yeah. But uh, Kim.com became a resident of New Zealand back in 2010, so he's, he's safe.